Good morning, everyone. So I'll be the last group, and then you can go to the coffee break. So I'll be trying to be shorter and not take so much of time. So this project that we develop is Argos, but it's not about the city, but it's about augmented reality in Volos. So I'll try to do a funny pun here. And about the project, yes, how to use augmented reality for tourist, cultural tourism and using the topics that are important to the city. And Volos is about mythology, and the centaurs, and Jason the Argonauts, but also Giorgio Di Chirico, that's a very important artist that was born here. And also, I tried in this project, not just talk about the past, but also talk about the present, about the port of Volos and the university, the objects that are important in the city. And from the content, it will be not so good as your presentation about Volos, but it will be something else again. So for this, I use this Wizard 2, this uh, augmented reality CMS system that was designed by Luciano Pina. He's an Italian-Dutch artist. He works about augmented reality and 3D objects. He's a very nice guy, and he allowed me to use this project here. I had the opportunity to work with him in Brussels three weeks ago. So I did a, a similar project in Brussels using the city square. But here was a city, so it was more challenging, so I had the opportunity to do it again and to test new things. So it was a nice opportunity. But how it works? So basically, you have a GPS position and you have some bubbles around. So when you enter in these bubbles, around the bubble is how the media you place it. So we can test it later. But here in Volos, I choose three locations. So one is front of here. That's in the university one, and the Argos boat, and also here in the corner of the city hall and the port. So I didn't have so much time to work in the content, so I just pick up five files per spot. And here you can see the media like text, photos. Photos sometimes could be a sequence of photos with text, audio, video, and Twitter. That's the most, the only participatory uh, element in this. But how it works? Actually, you have to install Junio in your cell phone. So if you have an iPhone or iPad or Android, you can just download Junio, and then you scan the QR code I have here, and enjoy your augmented reality experience. So, and then you have two types of codes. First is the unified one. Here you scan this, and then you can walk on the streets, and then you have to be guided by a radar. So the radio will tell like this, okay, you have to walk 70 meters in this direction. So that's how it works. But let's say if you're not in Volos, and this just work in Volos. But if you're not in Volos, you are in Shanghai or wherever, you can still access the information. So here are the QR codes for each point. So uh, I don't have the printers for you. I just have one page here. But if these files will be on the internet, not in Google Docs, it would be great, and then everybody could just access the file, this file, and scan it and using your own apartment. So that's cool. And what about the files? Yes. Uh, so when you enter in the bubble, you see something, and then with this something, you click just once, you get another information. So I developed some avatars, so that's the structure. I have some Greek character, but I'll try to make some related to the media for this audio. And I also put a medium icon, so it's very obvious that what it's about, and also the description about the file. So it, let's say it's an audio about 1 minute 38, you decide if you want to load it or not. Or like it's a video about 6 minutes, so like I don't want to spend 6 minutes, you just don't click on it. So was a way to do it. And here I'll show some examples about the avatars that I did. So, audio, text, there are also some gold, the centaurs. So, and also, but it's not just mythological persons that I use. I use also some other elements. For instance, here was an artifact, and here is the, the church. And here is a piece of Giorgio Chirico that was a very nice artist. So, long story short, how was the results? I'll show you just a video about how it was. So here's the point one. Uh, actually, I was trying to f 
film myself, so it's blurry, but it was by camera thing. And I have to wait for these gym guys to finish to do that. So I was like, oh my God, please leave. But here it's not work. So here was like a photo sequence. You click and then you'll be, so it takes time because it's loading. So you need internet for this. So it was the map of the travels of the Argonauts. Uh, there's audio, but you're not to listen here. So also you can place long text. So you just scroll it, uh, you can read it. And once you click again, it closes. So you one click to open and one click to close. If it's not loading, you don't have to click a lot, otherwise you stop it. There's audio here, we're not listening. There's audio about the story of Jason. And then, then, then. also tweet page what people are tweeting about Argonauts. And Argonauts actually is a American football team from Toronto. So I have to use yeah, like Argonauts, Volos, and that was kind of filtering. But yeah, so you can see what people are talking about, follows and the Argonauts topics. Yeah, that's, and then it was closing the cycle, but I will show also the other one that's here in front. Yeah, it's not blur, I swear. So it's an uh, audio about the Pillion and the Centaurs and Chiron. <coughs> but you don't have to listen to everything, so if you listen and you click it, stop the audio. Here's about the universe, that's a very important uh, thing in Volos. It's part of the city, so you can just access. I got this from your brochure, <laughs> this information. And also a video link, so you can also put links from YouTube. And here, that one took a while to load for some reason. I was like, yeah, recording. Everybody was looking at me like, why the guy is like filming himself, take a <laughs> selfie? <He> was, yeah. <laughs> but still. Yeah, but it loads and then you can see the video if you want. And all, all these videos are in YouTube, so if this point, PowerPoint will be available later, you can access the links and see it. And here was the church, I used this moment, so you can see the church in the back, and see the church here, so you know what it's about, because if you just argue, you don't know that's the church. So I tried to use an element that was familiar, and again, I found another tweet about Pelion and Centaur, so that was the words that I chose. And you can see like some hiking stuff there, so you can see what people are talking about these specific talks. And just to finish, the three points. Yeah, I try to do some artistic style here. <laughs> Director. <laughs> and he was in the port, because there you can see the city hall and you can see the port, also in the direction of Kiriko place. So. Sometimes I just use the same icon because the guy was reading and then just to show how it works. And here was about the sesclo. I don't know how it pronounced correct. So then you have, and then it was at the end because I test before, but it scrolls down. And here is uh, about uh, by the way, Dimitris helped me with all the content that was, he also said like, hey, you should talk about this and this and this and this, so he gave me the direction, because I didn't know what is important, not in Volos, because I'm a foreigner, my first time here, so we also can get some information about contemporary information, and this is a slideshow about Kiriko, so you click, and then it loads, but then you can read about the artist, why he was important, and then after this, he starts to do a slideshow about his main paintings or the most famous ones. Someone know Kiriko here? No? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, surrealism is my favorite art school, so he was one who influenced this. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess you've got the idea. 
and then another video about Volos, but it was just like Atlas visual. So just like showing places in Volos without any content, with this annoying music. I don't know why. Uh, while we people do these tourist videos, they always put this <laughs> music. But yeah. <laughs> it's an object of study about why you put bad music in videos. But yeah, that's how, if you see that, that's what you see and what you get. So there's some potential, and I'll say if you want to work for real with this topic, let's say if you work in Volos, probably I'll recommend to work with historical teachers if you apply for the students, or more like because when you work with material, content material, you have to be responsible, especially historical effects, not to get the facts wrong. Or if you're a tourist, also could be what is interesting. And that was my presentation, and I'll say like a Faristo Volos. Thank you.